Alenco DX70. This is the TH model. Uh, Multifunction knob. Um, very common problem with it is uh, skipping. Um, you can't seem to increment the numbers. They seem to stay stationary. So decided on a quick fix. Um, if you're in the UK, um, there's a place. V U N A. Sorry, V and U. Uh, they sell them. Uh, very cheap part. Uh, Six pound forty uh, plus one pound odd postage. Um, bargain. Anyway, um, to dismantle. Four screws on the back. Obviously, remove the head. Just clips off. Take the two wires off. Uh, four screws clips out. Um, you then end up with that part. Uh, simple enough. Move that nut. I'm turning those two. Remove the one that's under there. And there's two screws on the back, which I'll show you in a bit. But um, I'll just show you the. Uh, I'll just power it up. Show it's working. Okay, so I've changed the multifunction knob and now it's incrementing lovely. No problem at all. Before it, it just wouldn't, it would just and it randomly drift off on its own as well. If you pulled on the knob it might drop. Uh, but that's working really nice there. Um, there is an issue. Um, simple enough to change. A little bit of soldering on the back. Uh, I'll take the back off. Uh, so I can show you. Uh, you've got. Uh, where are we? You've got three pins here to desolder and two lugs there. Um, it's not the easiest job in the world to get on and off, but you can, it, it can be done with a little bit of care. Um, so basically, it's unsoldered one, two, three, and I'll desolder these. I've still got to brush these contacts up, yeah, I'll just put it back on to test it. Um, if you're interested in doing the Mars Cap mod, um, this is where you'll find the bank of resistors here as well that need affecting or changing or removing. Um, I'm not going to do it, I'm not interested in it. Um, if you want to do it, that's where it's done anyway on the back of the head. Um, the, the issue is with the knob they supply, the multifunction knob. As you can see, it's got a shaft that's round and with a spline in it. And it is too long and the original which I've dismantled for you. So if anybody wants to have a go at cleaning theirs, they can. This is the original. As you can see, it's a D. And it's quite a bit shorter than the other. So I had to take a hacksaw to it. Then I had to file it to try and create. If I can, you can see. Sorry about the wavy camera. Uh, I've had to file it so it would fit back in the multifunction knob. Um, it's a little bit tight, I've got a little bit more fettling to do. Um, but that's about the only major issue. But I was going to we'll go back to this. That's the bottom plate with the three pins on it. And there's, sorry about the focus on this, but. There's some little contacts there. Uh, that's the very bottom plate, and that's the retaining clip that keeps it all together. Get off. Um, on the back of that, there is the, I don't know what you call it, the uh, places where the switches would make contact and break, I presume. Uh, the encoding plate, if you like. Um, people have attempted to fix these. Um, but it could just be, I can't get this to focus, but these are little spring contacts. It might be just tension those up and cleaning. They might go back together and work again, I don't know. I'm not going to try anyway. I just took it apart just in case anybody does want to try cleaning it. Um, it's an option, but it's a lot of work to get it off to clean it. You might as well just replace it. 
as I say with this one you do need to do a little bit of a hacksaw cut and a little bit of filing um, but it does work um, I'm gonna put the radio back together um, I can finally stop having to use the up and down on the hand mic I can go back to using the radio again so um, if anybody does want to try this mod it's very cheap to buy the part as I say um, that's how it comes uh, it's around about six pound forty, and I bought it in the UK from a place called V and U, and the address is at the top there. Um, it's well worth doing. Um, it brings your radio back to normal function again. Um, see how long it lasts. Um, Seventy three.